Hey everybody, Ruin the Gaming Dad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we're on Arc Official PVE, and we're talking how to make custom consumables, as the wiki says, or as we like to call it in the Arc Trade Federation, superfood and super water. So a great way for you to ditch that cooked meat in your inventory in the canteens and dealing with spoil times, all that stuff, you can get rid of all that. So how do you do it? So let's jump right in and show you how to get it done. So, really easy stuff. All you really need is probably the most basic engram in the game, the note. So make yourself a bunch of notes. They're obviously really cheap to make. And then you need a cooking pot. And those are the only really things you need to build at all. So, we're going to jump into the fridge here. And we're just going to pull out the most basic of items that you get throughout the game. We're going to pull out 10 raw meat. And we're going to throw that 10 raw meat in the note in the cooking pot. And in the middle there it says make recipe. So we're going to click that make recipe and there's a up top you can make food or drink. We're going to make food. You can make it a burger. You can make a cake. Whatever you want. Whatever color you want to make it. We'll just keep it simple here. We're going to call this recipe 10 raw meat. And we're going to hit make recipe. And we'll just throw our raw meat back in the fridge. So as you can see, our rest of, there's our meat and there's our recipe. And it gives us 10 food and 7 health just from 10 raw meat, not even cooking it, not even taking that time, so not bad. But what would happen if we just went, took a full stack of meat with us, so 40 raw meat. Let's throw that raw meat and the note into the cooking pot, and we'll just call it 40 raw meat. And we'll throw our uh, raw meat back in the fridge. And you can tell there, now we've jumped up to 38 food and 28 health in our recipe just from using a stack of raw meat. So meat is raw meat is not the only thing that you can use. So let's just try some berries, some basic stuff here. We'll throw 11 berries in there because it looks like our spoil is going to be a little... Spoil timer is going to hit. So we'll throw our berries and we'll throw a note into the cooking pot and make a recipe. And again, we'll just make it look like cake. And we'll name it and make the recipe. And comparative to that, 4 food and 1.6 health, not very good comparative to the other ones, but what happens if we put a note with those berries in there, just hit drink on our recipe instead of food, so it just makes a little, like, cup you can change whatever you want and we'll name that one and make make a recipe now we get three water and 1.6 health so it kind of changes up what you get so and we'll drop our old recipe there so berries are great what if we put some crops in there so we're just gonna we're gonna go for some long grass here we'll take our berries out we'll put 10 long grass in and a note we'll make that recipe and make sure you click on drink of course and we'll name that recipe 10 long grass. And we'll always put our stuff back in the fridge. So from three water with the berries to 32 water with the long grass. So much improved. Um, and those recipes are fantastic. But how do we make them better? So I've used the mind wipe tonic on my character. And you can see I've got 29 levels left to spend. I put some points into health and weight, but I'm going to start dumping all 29 of those extra levels that I have into crafting skill. And the higher the crafting skill you have, the better these recipes are going to be. The wiki um, has a great chart there to tell you exactly what your recipes are going to be, and we'll go into some other things later on what, ex what ingredients you can put in to make your recipes even better. So let's just make our recipe here with our 10 raw meat again. And we'll name this one 10 Raw Meat Upgrade, just so we know the difference between the two. And we're going to hit Make Recipe. So comparative, the Raw Meat Upgrade now gives us 44 food and 32 health, as opposed to our original one, which is 10 and 7. So putting points into crafting skills really made a difference. Now let's try the 40 Raw Meat one and see what happens when we make that recipe. And again, we'll call that 40 raw meat upgrade. And we'll pull it out and look at that. 
Now we're at 174 food and 128 health. So now we're getting a lot of stuff just from one full stack of raw meat and increasing our crafting skill up to make that happen. So that was awesome with the food. Let's figure out what we can do with our drink. So again, we'll take the same two recipes we did before. We'll start with the berries with our 10, just as kind of a barometer. And we'll go ahead and make that recipe. And we'll make sure we click drink up at the top and we'll just name it upgrade just like we did the others. And we'll make the recipe. So now we're at 11 water and 3.89 health as opposed to just the 3 and the 1.6. Not that much better, but still an improvement. Now let's throw the long grass in there and see what we get. We know what kind of improvement it did when we didn't have any points in the crafting skill. Let's see what a 10 long grass with our upgraded or our points put into crafting skill does. And there's our comparison. Now we're at 145 water and 16 health. So again, crops are great, but just increasing your crafting skill, if you have the ability to use a mind wipe tonic, um, you can mind wipe, put all your points into crafting skill. And these recipes that we did, just basic ones would be even better. <laughs> So, now we've got the recipes. What are we going to do with them? So, I'm going to dump off all the old recipes. We'll just throw them on the ground. We've got all of our upgraded recipes. Now we're going to take those over to the industrial cooker. So, we're going to grab a bunch of raw meat. We're going to have a bunch of berries. We're going to have a bunch of long grass. And we're going to throw that into our industrial cooker. Well, first I guess we're going to need gasoline. Organization is key. Here's the gasoline over here. And let's throw all of those items, just dump the whole thing into the industrial cooker. We'll take the notes out. And all you got to do is turn it on. And as you can see, those custom recipes just start going right away. And they'll keep going as long as you have those items in the industrial cooker. But as you see, it stopped and the cooker turned off. When you make custom consumables, it will drain your water, your industrial cooker, really fast. So if you have your base hooked up to water tanks like you're catching it from the environment, it's gonna drain those really quick. We are hooked up to a static water source, just like a stream or a lake, and you can see it still drains the water really fast. But when the water comes back up, a level comes back up, in order to be able to make that recipe, it'll automatically make it. So, we're gonna take all of those custom consumables, our super food, our super water, and we're just gonna throw them in our inventory. You can see here, one of the big advantages is spoil time. It's basically two days for one in your inventory, as opposed to cooked meat or berries that have a much smaller spoil time. So the advantage of making custom consumables far outweighs, or far outweighs anything in the game as far as spoil time. And we're gonna dump out some old custom consumable recipes. We're gonna put those in the fridge and when you look at what they look like in the refrigerator, we're 200 days right off the, you know, it's 199 now. It's 200 days for all these recipes. So you make a bunch of superfood and super water. It's there forever. You know, cooked meats a day and a half, even jerkies, you know, 133. But you're you're not getting the benefits of from cooked meat jerky as you are from your custom consumables. So if you can make a bunch of this stuff and throw it in a fridge, it's going to be there for a really long time. And... As you, so we've consumed just one of each, and you can see our stats going back up. So super food and super water is what we use all the time. The wiki does a great job on the web of telling you what ingredients do what thing and what advantage it gives you on each stat. One of the things you can use that does a really good job of upgrading your recipes is putting in an egg. So we're going to throw in a full stack of raw meat and an egg and a note into the cooking pot. And I'll show you what it does when we make that recipe. We're not even going to name it. We're just going to hit make recipe. Now our food is 197 and our health is 151. And we get a 35 stam out of it. So it's a great recipe, but the only unfortunate thing is it's going to ask for that Tech Rex egg. That's the, re that's the egg we used. It's going to ask for that every time. So if you have a bunch of dodos in the base or small dinos that make a lot of eggs, you can use that. And it's really an advantage. The great thing about 
these recipes is they're yours until you lose them, basically. You can make your recipes, throw them in a vault. They're good to go for a very long time. You don't have to worry about all that other, oh my gosh, i got to cook meat, i got to do this, i got to do that. You don't have to worry about any of that. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.